Hey there and welcome back. Today we want to take a look inside a toothbrush and see how it works. We start by peeling the rubber off but don't do it as I did it um, in the video because you just need to put the rubber away at the bottom and not at the top and so you do not need to peel everything away. Then the bottom gets open and you can push the whole device out of the case. There we can see the five main parts the brush consists of. The main board, the induction coil at the bottom, the battery, the part where the toothbrush head sits and an electromagnet, but more about that later. The first thing we can remove is a little spring in the middle of the device. Then we can see that everything that the top part is movable. Unfortunately though, the battery can not be easily removed as it is soldered to the main board. Due to the fact that we cannot reach the important screws to separate the top part and the bottom part, we need to unsolder the electromagnet and the induction coil and the battery. Unfortunately though, it is just possible to desolder the electromagnet using a desoldering pump and the others I needed to use desoldering wick but I am fairly new to that so this took a while. During the process um, of using desoldering wick it is important that you don't use just the end but, a but you put the wick on top of the hole and that protrudes a little bit. The second thing is that you need to make sure that the solder you want to remove is heated properly otherwise it isn't going to work. After that was out of the way we can remove the main board. Then we are able to separate the metal part and the black plastic part. Then we can remove the electromagnet from the chassis. Whilst looking at the electromagnet, um, it seems that one of the coils has another polar polarization as the other one. This is important to the function, which I'm going to talk about later. The other part is a magnet. Now to show how this ma magnet works, I used a AA battery, which has roughly 1.5 volts but it got hot during that, so pay attention that it is not starting to burn. With the battery connected, the screws were also drawn to the magnet, and when you release the battery, you could see that the screw is falling off. Concentrating on the plastic part, we were able to push the battery out, and it seems that the battery has roughly a voltage of 1.1 volts and that's why our coil got hot using the other battery. Another important aspect uh, regarding how the device works is that a magnet sticks to the electromagnet even though it isn't on because there is a metal inside the coil. To prove that the polarities of the electromagnet are different I used this magnetized pulver inside this box and you can barely see it on the camera but as soon as I changed the polar polarization the pulver was spinning for 180 degree for 180 degrees and that's an indicator that the polarizations of the coils are vice versa. After opening the metal around the toothbrush in, on the top part, 
it seems clear how the thing works. What it does is basically switching the polarization of the ma of both magnets at a high rate and thereby the magnet at the top is um, rotating and this rotation is because it is fixed at a certain point turned into vibration and that's the vibration you feel when you when you're toothing when you brush your teeth now there is one mystery left why is there a spring and the what I haven't mentioned before is that around the spring there's a rubber part and not plastic so what it does is reducing the vibration because when there's something really strongly vibrating the, your muscles lose uh, and you can't hold it and that's why you need to have such a thing inside the toothbrush and we can actually hear it also on the newer model when there's a object against the brush you hear it louder when it is against the top part than on the bottom so that is how a toothbrush works i hoped you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like and subscribe stay curious and bye